Can you guess where I am? Does it look familiar? <laughs> so I'm back in India. I'm here for a wedding, a family member's wedding. So yeah, this is going to be a wedding prep vlog. I'll actually include part of a TikTok that I already made because um, I was doing like this little wedding series for TikTok. Just so you can see like the beginning bits of this wedding prep vlog. Uh, but yeah, if it's loud, the fan is on and I'm sorry it's not coming off. It is so, so hot. And you're probably thinking why have I got long sleeves on? Girl, because the mosquitoes here are moving mad. They are moving insane. So, I've just got a long sleeve on me right now to protect myself just from getting bitten. Um, yeah, because those mosquito bites are painful. I've got one on my bum. So I was sunbathing um, yesterday and I had my bikini on. And I was like, yeah, it's like five days into my trip. I didn't have any bites yet. And then it had the audacity to bite me on my bum. So yeah, I have a really big bite on my bum and it's really painful. So it kind of triggered how much I hate the feeling of mosquito bites. This is why I said, okay, let me just wear this long sleeve for today. It's just day five now since coming, arriving, and I'm still trying to adjust to my new sleeping pattern. Like I have been struggling at night in terms of like being, being awake. I went to bed at like 5 a.m. last night and I had to get up at nine. That's not cute. But anyway, yes. I am picking up my my lehenga. I actually got I tried on a bunch as you would have seen. Um, this is road clip. This is road clip. <laughs> like seriously, who doesn't love shopping, especially last minute? So come with me to find the perfect lehenga for a wedding as a guest. So the humidity was really trying to bully my hair this day, but anyway, we arrived at the shop and I was just so spoiled for choice. I obviously didn't know where to start, but I knew I wanted to stay on brand for the color scheme. So it was like pastels and like purples and really light pinks. So these were some of the lehengas I was looking at initially. So I just chose a few to try on. So this first one I did love, but it just, I felt like it wasn't giving what I wanted it to give, especially with the colors. I found this skirt absolutely beautiful but the top I felt like it didn't this go. made me feel so royal but the fit on the waist and the arms still wasn't working for me so I tried to find another top for the skirt that I loved but still it didn't go together but I ended up finding something so perfect to wear for the wedding but we ended up changing shopping locations I grabbed an iced tea but tune in to see what I wore for the wedding so as you would have seen I tried on a few um, lehengas and some pieces i love like particularly this skirt i love the bottom of the skirt i actually sent this to my sisters as well and my mom and they they really liked it but i just couldn't find anything that could go with the top and what and what it was paired with it just wasn't giving so i just decided to get something made last minute because the thing is with me like when i'm not completely settled on something it will show like if I'm not completely satisfied, you could just tell that, yeah, Shanti is, this is not feeling it. So I'm happy that I actually did get something made instead. So today I'm going there to try it on. I got my nails done before I left the UK and I'm still looking, still looking fresh, still looking good. Um, and I wanted them short because I wasn't sure if I could find a nail tech here. Um, that could do my nails in a way that I like them but I think I found someone so I'm happy about that so yeah we'll be getting my nails done again but here yeah I'm gonna take you along and also the preparation for the wedding day which I'm so excited
dress, well, I keep saying dress, my lehenga. It is stunning. Wow, I'm absolutely in love with how it looks. This is why I have to always stick with my intuition because I knew, I knew that like, the ones I was trying on just wasn't giving. This is everything, like it's literally on brand for the theme of the wedding. Look at it from the back. It's so gorgeous. Wow, guys, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm obsessed. And I don't even feel guilty about it. But yeah, look at it from the back. It's so, the color, everything, it's just giving. So I have about an hour to do my glam. I've prepped my face, I've done my skincare, I've done my, um, what do you call it? <laughs> yeah, I've done my skin prep for my makeup. So now it's time to get this face beat, get ready for the wedding. I'm excited to do my glam today. And yeah, we're gonna look good. So yeah, enjoy this video, cause yeah, makeup, the hair, the tea tea. even shocked <laughs> like honestly this is the best glam I've ever done here is my dress I'll, I'll try and show it properly I'm still contemplating these earrings so I left my earrings back in the UK my gold ones which I wish I brought because they probably would have worked so much better with this outfit but I'm thinking can I get away with it just because of the sequences on the dress the silver and yeah i'm not sure if i'm not feeling it i'll just take them out and just wear my studs but yeah this is oh, the makeup my hair i was so indecisive about what to do with my hair so i ended up doing this low ponytail but the look the glam <laughs> guys i'm in love with how this whole fit looks like just like that so I'm gonna head to the wedding now and try and give a better outfit check when we arrive but yes I'm finished I'm checking in and also drop in the kind of makeup process for this as well because I feel like I need to do a makeup look on this beat because this was sensational this is two hours glam Makeup is still going strong. I feel like I've been bitten by loads of mosquitoes, I'm not gonna lie. There was like flying ants with wings, 
mosquitoes. I feel like I'm gonna wake up and see loads of bites. But other than that, it's been a blessing to be here and watch them. And the vibe has been good. But I'm hungry, I want more food, I want more food and dessert. I'm feeling for a really nice dessert, so I'm gonna try and buy some dessert before I go to bed. And probably eat some more food. Cause I didn't eat this morning. I didn't want to be bloated for the langer that I was wearing. So don't forget my bags. It's our past closing time and they're literally still taking pictures of the bride and groom. They look so tired, like Rayma, bless her. She's a real soldier, cause me, even my smile lines, my cheeks are shaking with the amount of pictures I had to take and I'm not even the bride. So yeah, big up them. I don't know what time they're leaving, but we're going now. Food was good, vibes was good. Hey guys, so we just got back and now I hope you've enjoyed today's little wedding vlog and the process of finding an outfit because yeah, I was really happy about what I ended up choosing in the end but I'm sleepy, I need to shower as you can see, take off this makeup and go to bed. So yeah, I'll catch you in my next little Chennai vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.